All right, so I wanted to make a quick video on how agility doesn't really work in Yakuza Like a Dragon. Now here, I've got Jungi Han here with regular agility. His This is what his agility would be with, uh, you know, just at level 99 with, uh, I think, his strongest uh, hitman weapon equipped, which has an additional 30 agility. I don't think I put anything else on him. Uh, and then we here we have Casca as an enforcer who has 100 more agility because I gave him a bit of a speed boost. Uh, now I have Namba here with also regular agility with 608. And then here we have Arachi with 9999 plus because uh, it actually goes past 9999. But for, the, for our purposes, it'll just be 9999 uh, agility. Now, let's see what happens once I get into a fight. Will you be able to guess the turn order? Spoiler alert. It's not what you think it'll be. Because, apparently, classes have their own, you know, unique agility boost or whatever the fuck this is. Jungi Han still goes past 9999 agility. And as you can see, Nanba going next here means that he also has some precedence over everyone else here. Who's going after him? The guy with not 9999 agility. Somehow, even with that much agility, Adachi is still going last. Yeah, I don't know how- I don't, I don't know why this happens. The man literally has 9999 agility. And probably has extra speed equipment too. Totally does. He has the most agility I could possibly put on him. This game sucks. <laughs> please fix that for LED 8. Thank you. Please. No, seriously. Please.